Hi guys, Moz here from Moz 6510 Models. We're a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. Vintage review and unboxing time again. As you know, I enjoy going through old kits from my stash. This one here, JB Models, you may have heard of it before in other videos. JB Models were basically taken over in to between 2006 2008 just after hornby acquired fx that's what i am led to believe hornby took over fx in 2006 and in 2008 fx released jb models in their own box this one here is an m113 acav which means armored cavalry assault vehicle it was released in 1993 it was then re-released in 1996 as a rebox with new parts because they created what they called the fire support version it was basically still an armored cavalry assault vehicle but this is the fire support version that they released and then in 2008 as i said in a bit of a blaze of glory airfix brought out a 1 to 76 scale range and they brought this one out as the M113 US ACAV. And at that time, they also released in 2008 the M113 US fire support version. So you had both basically released um, together when they were taken over by Airfix. And to my knowledge, I've not seen them re-released again. They may be out there in their Airfix box, but I've not seen them for sale anywhere, which is what got me interested in JB models because they did go outside the box. They went 172 scale, then they went for 148. They didn't go down to 144. That'd be daft. They went for the 176 scale and, and Airfix kind of took it on as maybe as another option to their lineup, but it never really got very far, I don't think. So... In the box you've got the artwork on the front basically it's it's uh, artist impression of the kit u.s army and the u.s army star on it one to 76 scale on the side just says model kit requires assembly paint and glue not required the kit number again jb1002 and you also have the artwork on the side the artwork again and just saying it's not suitable for children under three years and then you have the same on the side as you did the other side so the box is very very um basic but on the back you have drawings of what the tank will look like when it's done 63 millimeters at 6.3 centimeters and width is about 3.5 centimeters or 35 millimeters Please retain the dress for reference. Copyright JB Models 1993. Only 27 pieces in this one and it's for people over the age of eight. So that's really the box. There's a side opening box. Let's go inside and take out what you get. Comes in a, a resealable bag. Like with everything here, we'll just take out the box, uh, the bag and it comes with oh, three sprues this time. So you've got one, two, three. And you have the decals there. As you can see, they're very slightly yellowed, I think. Was it supposed to be cream colored? I don't really know. I presume they are. Can see a little bit of detail there. If this works, this is gonna be brilliant. So I get my loop, put my loop up to the camera, which is there. And then we'll just get the decal up close. And try and get it to zoom in there as you can see there is some detail on the decals but it's very very faint you may see it if it was dark behind There's some little bit of detail there but not a lot so i can't show you much more than that i think the loop the loop battery's died anyway the loop's battery's died so i need to change the battery on that one <laughs> but anyway so it comes with three sprues it looks like the the drive wheels and the track are all molded together here you can see it all in one piece so it's going to be a bit m m bit of a sprue glue paint repeat sort of kit this one some nice detail on the track as i said there's nothing special this there's nothing special about this kit it is just what it is and you build it for your you know 176 isn't that model railway size oho gauge double o gauge so there's that one at the top of the there's some detail there the i raised panel lines on this one just look a bit close you can see no flash can you see no flash so but it is a you know it was only only made in 1993 so 
they haven't made a lot of these there shouldn't be any flash on it at all really this one here they've got the numbers off piece if you see what i mean they've got their own little notches the numbers on them and like on the other kits where the numbers are actually imprinted on the part okay so there's that one then finally the turret and you also get uh the uh commander there with his got with his binoculars it looks like around his around his neck very very small gun protection there not bad not bad for 176 scale instructions is a photo a photocopy tells you there a little bit about the m113 armored personnel carrier entered service in 1960 has a crew of two to the driver and the commander and carries 10 infantry men in the rear. The M113 has a welded aluminium alloy hull and is fully amphibious, so it can go in the water. So, really, apparently here it was developed as a result of combat experience in Vietnam. So there you go. That's where you're at at the moment. So, again, quite simply, three parts stuck together. The tracks. One. Then you do the commander and his gun, two, three, everything all put together. So it's all nicely compacted. Then four, you put the uh, protection around, the shielding around the commander. And then number five is the um, machine guns on the side there. And then you'll just cement it all to the, it says here for number 17, do not cement to the hull. So I suppose it just clips on them. Apply decal to inside of trim veins. So you, you know, you put your decals on and that's basically it for the instructions there's the color scheme there um it doesn't show a lot does it really so your colors are again humbro they've used humbro for their colors matte dark green matte black gunmetal and silver and then a little bit there about the decals and that's basically what you get in this box so there you have it the jb models or shall i say airfix m113 acav armored cavalry assault vehicle if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified on any new videos any questions any comments put them in the box below and i'll see you in the next video cheers